How would you like to win a free vacation, a fur coat, and a new car? That may sound like the lead to one of Randy Ripplinger's consumer scams, but in this case, Randy tells us it's really possible if your name is called to come on down. <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta get the job. I think Rod Roddy's gonna fear for his life now. Sure, if I can get a free vacation, I'd do it any time. Yeah, now. this is no scam. This week, of course, we're trying to give people an inside look at TV game shows and sweepstakes. Tonight, of course, we're talking about the granddaddy of them all, The Price is Right. Part of what we learned from our trip to Los Angeles is how to improve your chances of getting on such a show. Would you like to leave this studio with the new color television set? Showtime, Mr. Barker. You ready? Go, sir. Yes. All right, Roger. How are we going out there? We're going out there as if it's opening day. That's right. right. Would you use a new stereo? Right, Bob. This way. Oh, I'm sorry, it's your, it's your my right, your left, right. This, this way, way, this way. Stage. Right this way. Here we go. Rob, have a great show. Great show, Bob. Yeah, Montana, 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 it has been said that uh, over all of the years that I've been in television, that I've made a living making other people funny. And that's how it comes down on stage 33 in Television City. But hours before, the show starts out here. Some of these people arrived at 7 in the morning, standing for six hours. They are waiting not only to see The Price is Right, they want to talk to this man. Phil Wayne selects the contestants. We're looking folks with a certain confidence. Looking for folks that are uh, happy to be here, ready to have a good time. Just about ready to uh, have the best time they've ever had in their life. You guys, come on down. On this day, Wayne interviews more than 300 people. Nine of them will make it as contestants. On the average, each person has five to ten seconds to convince the producers they have what it takes. Wayne uses a keyword when he meets someone he likes. His assistant makes notes on what the person is wearing. Robert, tell me about you. I'm born and raised in Pennsylvania, but now a happy resident of San Diego, California. Good to have you closer, Robert. Come on inside, here, yes. After the audience has been pumped up for 15 minutes, the noise is so loud, no one can hear who is being called to come on down. So they hold your name up on a sign. That's an exhilarating experience, and you can't really explain it unless you, you know, unless you go through it. But you just can't believe you think, oh my word, that's my name, and, and you know, here I am, I'm going on down, and, and you hope for the best after that. And then the contestants belong to Bob Barker. If I get someone who's amusing or interesting, someone who's a character, I can go on and on and on with them and then just play the game a little faster. It's just fun being there, whether you're a, cont a contestant or not. It's just fun to get involved in the, the excitement and the, oh, you might call it glamour, too, of, of the whole idea of television. I much prefer to have the contestants win. I would like to have them all win. And of course, that's impossible. But I think there's a great vicarious thrill for all of us. There is another end of this show business, getting your prizes home and paying taxes on them. We'll look at that tomorrow when we visit Pat Sajak, Vanna White, and the Wheel of Fortune crew. Boy, isn't that fun? It's really a kick just to be there and watch it uh, go down, as Did it were. you kind of want to be a contestant there? Oh, sure. Who sure. wouldn't? That's the whole thrill of the thing. You empathize with those people. You'd like to be in there. Okay. But this time you just got to interview him, but that's fun. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. Oh, Bob Barker sure seems like a nice guy. Uh -huh. And Vanna White tomorrow. <laughs>